this goes. Uh, just an idea that came to my mind. Um, are there any of the dogs running or facilitating spawning interest groups at the university level? Like first year engineering students or final year engineering students? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of a model that feeds itself right. into the real world and whether there's a role for Kaib now to begin engaging those um, students about to graduate into the process. There's nothing formal that I'm aware of, but in a lot of cases, these meetings will be located at the university and supported by the um, engineering departments up there. And so while it might be a formal relationship, the idea is the same. Um, you, know, you, you want to make sure you get these, these new graduates involved. There's no point in just going to university and then going out to the world and sort of having no, no real practical experience as they start. But I think to at least these sorts of meetings, you can start to pick up a real sense of how things actually work in the real world without needing to, to spend years getting that, you know, years working to get an experience in that point. Let me add something regarding the universities. For the landlock meeting, we are cooperating with the what is called CLARA, which is the network or the association of net of errands in Latin America. It's like Internet 2 in the US or GIAN So Clara is part of the of the program committee and also part of the organizational committee and we want students and, and, and universities involved in the meetings and also in the mailing list, not only because of their experience as network operators, but also because of all the students that are willing to uh, be involved and then these are the, the, the engineers that are going to be involved in the company. So we want them on our, on our or on this uh, list from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one, one. Also, one of the things that we, we want to push for once we get a single critical mass is actually a mentor, ment mentorship type program inside of Cardinal where we can not just have a university but young people who are interested in but have no other approach to uh, the profession uh, where, where they can Leads with on the carnivalist, or maybe on a specialist in carnival, leads with people who are interested in mentoring them through um, getting established in their field. Okay. Any other questions? I want to move on to the final part of the agenda. Take one more question. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Pablo Rodriguez, and I'm the sales and marketing manager of the registry that, that we are in Puerto Rico. And a question that comes to mind immediately is how do we sustain a NOM? Is it based on some, kind, some type of subscription? Is it based on donations? How do, that is one question. On the other hand, the other side of the coin is how do I create value in order to get more people to participate, thus becoming willing to put in dollars to support the non. On, on, on the first part, um, the way just about every non is involved is being, you know, starts out where, where they're trying to keep low cost in general so that there's not too much of a need for uh, dollars to support it. Uh, in some regions they do try to get big sponsorships so that they can basically provide some you know, travel and attendance fellowships to people that otherwise couldn't come. Um, but it really is just making sure that got a, at least a core active group of people that are going to you know, going to turn up when they can, keep discussions going on the mailing list, so we can out and ask a question to make sure we can get an answer and that sort of thing. So um, it's, it's really the way all of these involved has been very low key. Nobody's, there's been a few people pushing it you know, in terms of time um, and that sort of thing, but uh, they tend not to be terribly big budget, which is, I think, what helps them. Uh, I mean, if, 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 uh, if this was happened at a hotel, the room rate was going to be three hundred dollars a night, and um, you know, it's going to cost you a thousand dollars for the week, right? Well, that's going to that's that setting some the wrong expectation, right? So people spend a lot of money to get there, and um, 